Hey guys, today is January the 23rd, 2020. We're getting ready to take a load of, well actually a couple loads of tobacco to market for Benny. And uh, on the way to the receiving station, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some things. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I didn't get a chance to make a video on the way to the receiving station. Benny's over loading up another load for tomorrow. But uh, I wanna share something with all my viewers. Uh, this is a 2004 issue, a prehistoric American. And in this issue is a uh, fellow I did a visit to his house, Benny and I, and He's known as a living legend. It's Charlie Wagers. Charlie does more than just collect artifacts. He uh, does a lot of articles for the Prehistoric American and the Central States Archaeological Journal. Uh, there you can see Charlie and his son with old Scarface, a fine discoidal, a couple of nice bird stones. I got to, Benny and I got to hold those and cherish them. And there's the Bennett Young Clovis, huge Clovis nice piece got it too got to hold it too here's his blind duck pipe that was in my video along with some other great pipes and platform pipes and just beautiful artifacts but this was just the tip of the iceberg charlie has a wonderful collection now there's a guy that was bashing my channel bashing my charlie wagers video saying that First of all, all of the pieces in that video were fake, and then he does a little writing that says 90%. This guy can contradict what he says multiple times in one sentence. I've seen it in several of his videos. He swears up and down that he don't care about the Mississippian and Woodland pieces. He's just out for the old stuff, but yet he finds a Jack's Reef, which is a late woodland to Mississippian period point type, and acts like it's the greatest thing he's ever found. This guy, he, he wants to talk in his videos about, oh, if you find something good, have it papered. Papered? What good is a paper? If you found the piece, why would you have to check authenticity on it? You're letting somebody else tell you that your piece is real? That's stupid. He says paper so much that I think he's off that movie Waterworld where the guy says, I've got something really valuable. Paper! Paper! I hear this so much out of him. It's sickening. He talks like a valley girl. I can't stand. Oh, folks, look at this stone. Oh, folks, folks, I found it close to my home. Oh, folks, folks. I watched him go to a museum, and he acted like he could tell the banner stones there were real. Oh, folks, look at the hoe. Look at the hoe. See how it's small? Looks like you could fit a dowel in it. He is ignorant as they come. He also walked in that same museum and looked at the display. They had the ages of point types on it. And he wanted to say, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Well, he knows more than the curator does. What about that? Buddy, you got a lot to learn about people. And this happened about a year ago. He bashed one of my videos about the uh, my big three. My personal found Clovis birdstone and grape pipe and then he said he bet me a thousand dollars i couldn't get these pieces authenticated by an ohio authenticator named jim bennett well right here's jim bennett's first book ancient indian artifacts volume one and when i communicated to him that i don't have to get anything papered i found them and they're already papered they're on paper in a book right here Check this out, Rocks Cousteau, the luckiest collector I've ever met. That would be me in his eyes. Look at there. Pieces that were on my channel that you bet me a thousand dollars Jim Bennett wouldn't authenticate. Well, guess what? 
Jim Bennett wouldn't have them in his book if they weren't authentic. And no, it did not cost me a penny to get these people, these pieces in this book. You know, what you know about archaeology, you could fit in a thimble. And it just shows your ignorance to put a community post up bashing Charlie's fine pieces, pieces that have been around for a long time out of old time collectors collections just fabulous pieces and like i said that's the tip of the iceberg you're in your small little region where you don't know anything you don't know anybody you've got a couple people that are your heroes i hear you talking oh i'm gonna have jim bennett do this i'm gonna have jim bennett do that you acted like you didn't know who jim bennett was once i told you i'll take that thousand dollar bet yeah Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. I mean, for somebody to keep bashing, you know, he bashed on the Missouri boys, uh, griping about them selling their points. Well, if they obtained them legally, they can do whatever they want with them. It's none of his business one way or another. I just don't get it how somebody can worry about getting views. He tries to act like an animal lover to get views he tries to put stuff like archaeology history channel it's a joke i i see why he has a squirrel for a pet because this dude's nuts hey everybody i'm back i got interrupted and couldn't finish my video but i want to talk to you more about rocks in the head Cousteau. i'm going to show you some pictures here of one of my displays uh this guy's so jealous of other people's channels that he has to bash people don't let him fool you, tell you he's not interested in the money and he's going to donate to a museum. If he was going to donate, he wouldn't try to get certificates of authenticity. He's in it for the money. He's just so jealous. I mean, one of my pieces in my collection is worth more than everything that boy's found his entire life. And Charlie Wagers could say the same thing. You know, I don't make videos for rocks in the head. I make them for friends and family and people who enjoy authentic Native American artifacts. It's a shame to have somebody like that come into this small community where most people don't even get to do this fine hobby. And then he's going to try to cast doubt He's going to try to say, people are going to get mad, but I know they're planning pieces for videos. That's him. That's the fella. You know, you got one finger pointing at somebody else. You got four more pointing back at yourself. And all my pieces are found on private property legally. I don't think he can say the same thing. I wanted to finish this up with some good pictures, some good video. It's a lot of walking right there. And I hate to give any publicity to a moron, but it's going to be negative. When he wants to cast doubt and negativity on his channel about my channel, he's going to get it right back but he deserves more. He deserves to have his channel just cut down. Valley girl talking idiot. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here. Bye now.